My name is Nitin Bhandari and in this project I'm working as a research assistant and uh, trying to help the team. This kind of learning exercise is, is very rarely carried out and it was very needed, uh, something that should have been done in the past but was not. And uh, I think the most interesting thing about this uh, project is that uh, we have been able to learn and uh, understand how countries learn from each other. Not only that, I think the findings would help those low and middle, low income countries to understand and reflect on these findings and uh, also be able to understand what they need to do more in terms of uh, learning from other countries. Uh, the success story comes from Nepal, uh, that's, that's where I belong. And uh, looking at the, in the context of Nepal, uh, if you look at the past 20 years, under five mortality rate was very, very high. So the government of Nepal came up with different programs uh, to fight, to intervene uh, this under five mortality rate. And at the same time, WHO came up with a package called IMCI, that's called Integrated Management of Childhood Illness. So that's a, a very comprehensive package that looks after five main killer diseases uh, uh, of under five age. That is uh, diarrhea, pneumonia, malaria, uh, malnutrition, and measles. So uh, the government of Nepal started to uh, implement that program in 1997. So it was not just based at the health facility, but it also included uh, female com uh, health volunteers who were from the community. And uh, they were given 18 days basic training. And based on the, on the training, they were able to uh, identify, diagnose, and classify. and. Uh, were able to refer the child to the nearest health facility. So that worked and with time it showed a very impressive results. Under five mortality decreased, but the worrying fact was neonatal mortality uh, and the infant mortality rate uh, did not follow this trend. So during 2007, uh, government came up with a new program called Community-Based Newborn Care Package Program. So CBNCP program basically targets newborn mortality and uh, in this program, female community health volunteers receive the training. They would go to the community, identify mothers who are pregnant, counsel them about antenatal care checkup and refer the, these mothers to the health facility. They would also counsel about the importance of institutional delivery and the importance of postnatal care. So this health uh, to increase the institutional delivery rate and uh, save newborn lives. So there are various different components in this program and uh, now we have a new program that is uh, as a result of merging of IMCI and CBNCP. This is called CBIMNCI. It's more like a comprehensive package that, uh, that we hope and we are positive that will help to save under five uh, children and newborn lives. The three words that uh, I would use to describe this is, number one is innovative, uh, number two would be uh, needed, and number three would be challenging. The main challenges that I encountered, encountered uh, during this project was the selection of the participants because uh, I feel that if you do not interview the right person or the person who uh, has been exposed to this reform that we, uh, we traced, then the result, result can get biased. So uh, selecting the participant was one of the big challenges for us, for me particularly. Yeah. The best memory about this project would be the selection of this reform. So uh, the reflection of these uh, has not been done till now. Uh, there has been few reflections, but a comprehensive reflection was lacking. And I think uh, the report that's going to come out will provide a very valuable recommendation and suggestions to the program planners.